Hi guys, welcome back to KNDD. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys around this stunning four bedroom property by Ogilvy Homes. The location is at the Manor Park Development and the property is called the Arniston. So from the outside you can see that the house is actually massive and you've got some rough casting on the left side you've got some brickwork so it's a contrast of the two which is actually really nice and you can see that the driveway is pretty massive you've got you can fit quite a lot of cars on it and downstairs on the right you've got the double garage which is actually being used as a marketing suite at the moment so now i'll take you guys inside the house Welcome guys, as you enter the front door, presented with this lovely hallway and I mean, just look at this. Downstairs you've got the living room to my left, you've got some storage, you've also got a downstairs toilet, two-piece toilet and you've also got a kitchen slash living space. So the first place I'm going to take you guys is the living room, which is just to my left. Look at that beautiful living room very very spacious and to the far end you have french doors which lead to the back garden there's quite a lot of furniture in this room but despite that there's still a lot of space that you can move around look at this coffee table this is actually really nice i wonder where they got this from i like the contrast the black with the sort of the light gray and then the wallpaper light gray wallpaper it's really really nice now, so because of the size of the house, you have your high ceilings. Despite the high ceilings, the acoustics of this room is actually still very nice and it's very quiet. And what the beauty about this place is that it's quite a small site. So you're not going to have a lot of noise outside and there's a lot of trees outside as well. So really nice scenery as you look out the window. I mean, you guys can't smell it, but it smells really nice in this home, which Adds that luxury, if you have something that smells nice, it has that extra luxury feel to it. And so if we go back out into the hallway, just to my right here, there's very big storage. So you can actually use this for quite a lot of things. You could either hang your coats up or you can have shoes, etc. So as well as downstairs storage, you actually have a downstairs toilet. So this is a two piece toilet with your toilet and your sink. They've got half height tiles. Tiles are really nice actually, I like the 3D effect. And also on the other half, they've got some wallpaper again. The wallpaper is really nice. So really nice decor in here. And tiles on the floor. So now I'll take you guys into the kitchen slash family area. We are now in the kitchen side. So this is the kitchen side, the dining area, and over here is the family area. So on this side, you have an induction hob, which is really good because the thing about induction hobs is you have certain pots and pans that can go on it. If there's nothing on it, then it wouldn't switch on. So you can't leave the house and go, oh my God, 
did I forget the cooker on, etc. So these are really good, very modern as well. And you have an extractor fan, which is here. I'm not sure if I'll have an extractor fan this big here, because it's taking up quite a bit of space. Maybe have some uh, inlets to extract from within the hub, but uh, nevertheless, still really good design. Plenty of storage space here. You've got some storage space and it's quite, it's like a pneumatic push, which is really good actually. So steady doors, no slamming. And here you've got a sink, double sink. You've got a deep sink and then an extra little sink. I like this tap actually. It's really cool. Again, you've got three windows, um, letting in plenty of light in here. So as you're doing the dishes, you can look out and look at how amazing your wall is and also look at the, the trees in the distance. Very nice scenery. And the thing about this location, in particular this house, is that everywhere you look out, a really nice scenery. I mean, there's trees all around you. It's very secluded, this location. Despite being secluded, you're actually very close to the motorway so you can get into Glasgow from Kilmarnock. You can get towards, start heading towards Edinburgh, East Kilbride, all of that. So you're geographically you're in a very good location. Again, very a lot of space storage within here. And this is the fridge. So integrated fridge freezer. And I like integrated fridge freezers tucks them away and it gives you that extra space, still maintains the look of the kitchen. And then you have some storage here, fairly large storage actually. Right next to the storage, you have a grill slash oven combo and the company is AEG. So very good quality grill and oven, they'll last long. And you've got some storage at the top here, which me personally, I'll probably integrate a microwave at the top so you can have a microwave, grill and oven bot or you can maintain it as storage. You've got some, this storage here and no doubt you're gonna have your dishwasher. Yeah, so integrated dishwasher, plenty of storage under the sink so you can have all your cleaning products here. And these cupboards are actually pretty big all around here and just below this um, hub, you've got actually extra storage where you could put your cutlery, you could put pots and pans. So it's very convenient because you just take out a pot, put it there and then you start cooking. So before you get to the dining area, you actually have this breakfast bar where you can have your um, bar stools and you can basically just have a quick breakfast, the kids can eat, or you can eat yourself before work or before the day starts, you know, just to have your coffee, etc. Or if you don't want to eat at the breakfast bar, you can actually sit and eat at the table. And just next to the table, you actually have French doors that lead to the back. So on a lovely day like this, you can open the French doors, let in some air, let in some light while you're eating. You can just come out, step out from the French doors into your beautiful garden. I mean, look at this, all this is slabbed, plenty of space. Um, if you have kids, they can ride up and down here with their bikes, or you can just walk on the grass. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have my shoes on. But I mean, look at that, look at all this space, guys. One side you have this beautiful wall. I mean, I like all that stone, like, I wonder what type of stone that is, but it's lovely. And then the other side, you have your fence, which is nice. And then you've got some trees that you, you can plant and grow and just add that greenery. Now, yeah, this is really lovely. And then at this side, you've got to the side of the house, which doesn't lead anywhere. It's just a fence, but you can actually add like a little gate if you want there. There's a gate on that side. So one of the beautiful things about this house is the size. There's a lot of potential to extend it. I mean, it's big enough as it is, but look at all this land. You can extend it even further out and turn this from a four bedroom to five, six, seven bedroom house very easily. Or you can extend it to make the kitchen bigger, have an, an actual island as well as your L-shaped island can have two islands, you know, it's, there's a lot of potential within the house. And when you're purchasing a new build house, the things to, the important things to take into consideration is how much land that you're actually getting. You're not just getting a house. You, sh you wanna see how much land you're getting with that house. 
and then on this side over to my right there's actually a space that you can walk around the side you can access the back garden from the back door which is just to the right and to the left you've got your gates that you can actually get out of your property so you can wheel your bins out on bin collection day and you've also got an outdoor tap as well which always comes in handy especially when you're going to be washing your cars you plug the hose in or if you're going to be watering all these plants here is definitely useful back into the kitchen just on my left that's the lounging part of the kitchen which is really spacious so it shows you how big the kitchen actually is because there's three parts to it there's the kitchen there's the dining area and there's the lounging area so when you finish maybe coming in from your garden nice day finish watering the plants or something you just want to chill watch some tv you stick on the tv oh so the utility room is actually connected to the kitchen which you can also use to access the back garden which has the back door so the utility room decent size actually you've got a sink here as well with a tap which not many houses actually have within the utility and this being the show home they've got some coffee machines so they've set it up giving an example of how you can set it up as well as the extra storage to my right there's actually a door which you can use to access your double garage which is really convenient actually because you don't want to always have to go out open from the outside you can access it straight from the house and that's the downstairs so Kay will take you guys upstairs so as you come upstairs in this property there's a feeling of warmth the landing is pretty massive plenty of space to move around and the way the house is split there's the right side and then there's the left side so it's pretty well designed well proportioned as well and the bedrooms are pretty big as well wait till we get into them but back to the landing i love this the stairs are lovely they're very grand and it kind of gives you that feeling of as if you're on a balcony as well so you can look down and see downstairs i love this grand mirror as well again making this room feel even much bigger and the landing gives you that um high ceiling feel i love this white railing it goes pretty well contrasts well with the carpets the carpets are very cozy very thick as well and as you can see they've got some ceiling um chandeliers as well which are pretty gorgeous something that's also on this landing is this window so this window is facing the front of the property, bringing in plenty of light. I think this is such a lovely space and you can design it how you wish. But let's go straight into the first bedroom, which is just over to my left. So this is the first bedroom that we are going into can you imagine this is not even the master bedroom it's beautiful spacious i think space is an important factor that a house should come with and you shouldn't compromise on space and i think this house just gives you that and it gives you plenty of light it's very large room i wouldn't even call it a double room it's it's pretty big so this room is as big as a principal bedroom but i feel this would be ideal for guests or even uh, if you've got a bigger family for an older child but as you can see they've got a double bed in here they've got this beautiful wallpaper two bedside units and as you can see they have also two windows in here bringing in plenty of light uh, so this one is on the side of the wall then you have the bigger window again facing the front of the property which is gorgeous you have the floor to ceiling high curtains again making this room feel even more grand and then this side they just have the blinds and over here they just have a little vanity table which you can utilize for doing like your makeup things like that or getting ready or just relaxing if you want to and they also have an armchair as well in here. So this is perfect for just, if you wanna come in here and just relax, read a book like Didi would say. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's a nice space. And of course they have a walk-in, um, an ensuite as well, a walk-in ensuite.
so this particular ensuite is fully tiled from the floor to the walls full height tiles chrome finishes as well on the tiles you have a chrome radiator a fully enclosed shower unit and it opens on both sides so you can easily get in let me see if i can get inside so it's quite big they have a window in here which is tinted for that privacy you have this sink gorgeous sink and you've got your toilet and you've got some storage in here so that's pretty nice actually um again you can keep your bathing stuff and cleaning products in there so it's pretty nice and these ones open up as well so plenty of space i love these that the doors are like magnetic so you just tap them and then they open and they're quite sleek as well you can't tell that these actually open up which is perfect for some people who don't like things everywhere um so yeah so it's a nice space so this is just bedroom number one that we've been into before we get into uh, the next bedroom this room also comes in with a walk-in closet So it's pretty big I feel like if you don't want to even have it closed you could even make this into a little um, makeup room or if you want maybe a working space you could even put a desk in here because there's lights there's spotlights as well so it's not dark or anything it's bright enough but for what it is for now it's a dressing uh, room completely detached from the bedroom so you can put all your clothes in there your makeup your bags etc so it's beautiful i really like this bedroom so it's quite a nice little extra that they've put in here so now i'm going to take you guys into the second bedroom which is the one just over here on my right another double room and I love the what they've done with this space I love the colors in here I like the black theme black is like my favorite color at the moment so they have this panel on the wall adding something extra to the room I love their pendant lights as well in this room gorgeous I love the black color as well uh, that comes with these lights then they just got some artwork on the wall again very beautiful the actual room itself is pretty big you can easily move around and they've got two bedside units as well got a very large window there's like three panels on this air uh, window and look it opens this way so this room is facing your garden you have a gorgeous garden here the views from this room are breathtaking honestly every morning if i lived in this house i would literally wake up every morning and look out there the trees and i would just open up the window just to hear that natural sound letting that fresh air as well so it's such a good location beautiful house honestly of course they've got another vanity unit in here and a mirror at the top so so now we're gonna go into the third bedroom which is just over here something i've not mentioned are these doors i love the color of these doors such a beautiful color but this is the third bedroom again another gorgeous spacious room this is a double room though it's set up as a nursery but obviously if you didn't have a small baby you could make this into a bedroom or if you want to you could make it into an office it's really up to you but there's plenty of space um as you can see they've got a cot bed in here some artwork i love the wallpaper as well this room um again is facing the back of the property just like the second bedroom that we've seen uh, the windows are large three glass panels on this window as well 
the curtains are nice as well so this room is nice it brings in plenty of light so i love a good um nursery in a show home i think it just gives you it gives the house character you know but now we're gonna go to the best of the best but just before we go into the master bedroom just to mention they've got a heat and control up here as well so we're now going to go into the principal bedroom So this is the principal bedroom it gives you it's just so luxurious this space just gives you that grand feel that luxury feel it's such a gorgeous gorgeous property I just love it the design everything about this room is just beautiful it's well decorated I mean firstly let's talk about this space it's absolutely spacious you have your Juliet balcony here. So in the morning, you can just open this up. I mean, come on. How beautiful is this house? It's stunning. So this is your balcony. So in the morning, you can make yourself, you know, a cup of tea. Come sit here and just take everything in. I can literally hear the birds singing as I'm standing here. Wow, what a gorgeous property. I'll let you guys take all that in as well. And the views. Look at the views. Bedroom comes with this beautiful chandelier, very grand. And of course, you have two windows in here. They've got two glass panels, both windows. So again, perfect for bringing in plenty of light and yeah the carpets are lovely as well then you have these chest of drawers slash vanity table so this room just has so much going and i don't even think this bed is a double bed i think this is a king size bed yeah it's yeah. definitely or a queen size bed yeah uh, you have the two bedside units beautiful uh, lamps here they're massive actually I just love the black theme in here. It just makes the house feel even more grand. The interior designer did well as well, staging this house. All of your homes really do design masterpieces. So something that's also in here is these sliding wardrobes. You also have an ensuite, which is just over here to my left. So this is the ensuite that is in the principal bedroom. It's fully tiled as well. Um, as you can see, they have this ceiling window, which is beautiful, bringing in plenty of light. Um, I'll just let you see the view as well from this window. It's beautiful as well. So that's your view, that's like a painting. Wow, beautiful. So this ensuite also comes with some storage as well here under the sink. So you can utilize that. You've, it's a three piece um, ensuite. The shower is massive. <laughs> it's big, guys. I feel like you could even, if you wanted to in the future, you could even fit a, a bathtub in here, but they just have a, a shower unit but it's massive honestly beautiful then the flooring they've got um laminate flooring and they've just got the full height tiles in here a chrome radiator and this beautiful steady door i like the color over here to my left is the family bathroom so this is a four-piece family bathroom plenty of space full height tiles in here chrome finishes on the tilings as well you have this chrome radiator 
which is pretty big actually. It's perfect for hanging your towels, as you can see. Fully enclosed shower cubicle. Then you have your sink and your toilet as well. So this room also comes with some storage at the bottom of the, the sink as well as at the top. Then you have the window as well in this space. So that was a tour of this beautiful property by Ogave Homes. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed touring it and showcasing it to you. Um, as usual, if you're interested in this property, all the details will be linked in the description bar below. Make sure to leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this property. And we have another gorgeous property actually coming up by Ogilvy Homes. And this one will also surprise you. Mm -hmm.